Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Painted South. In today's video, I'll be sharing an update on my home projects, my furniture search dilemma, as well as a fun shopping haul from Hobby Lobby, some thrift stores, an antique store or two, and Big Lots as well. So let's get started. All right, so here is what's going on in the kitchen. And the reason why I have not finished is because I have been searching for the right furniture and the right scale and style for this space. I had painted that faux fireplace, well, the electric fireplace, to put on that wall. And I liked how it turned out, but it really didn't go with any of the furniture that I had or that, that style. So I put it back in the bedroom, which I could always paint it again, but there's just not a lot of space here. Plenty of space for her. But I love this sofa. My cat, our, our male cat still has his claws and he has been trying to use this as a scratch pad and he has started pulling it. So I, we're not gonna have him declawed, obviously. Maxine was already declawed when we got her, but um, he just, he's tearing it up. So I'm trying to take into consideration durability and so forth when looking for furniture as well as budget and size, scale, all of those things. So I haven't finished this brick wall. I'm going to redo the mortar. That's a long story. I'll explain that later. And I haven't put this baseboard down because I painted the walls this green gray color. And oh, that's the little birdhouse that there's a Wren has a little her babies in there. So um, anyway, this green gray color, I like it. But trying to coordinate the look of brick with these floors that are supposed to be hickory. They're in a lighter color. And then the furniture that we already had to work with and so forth. So there's just, I'm trying to coordinate a lot and trying to do it on a budget. And it's a little bit challenging. I don't know if you guys have shopped for furniture recently, but it is, it can be challenging. So I did get these chairs. I got these for 140 on Marketplace, and I really like them. They're semi-comfortable. Uh, <laughs> and I say semi, I mean, you, you can sit in them for a while, but you're not going to cozy up in these. They have a really cool metal bottom. I don't know. They're probably from Ashley or somewhere like that. I don't think they were super expensive, but I like them. So I do like the fabric that is on the seats but I'm probably gonna change that, or just, I won't take it off. I may just cover it with a more suitable fabric whenever I end up collecting other pieces. And this Bombay piece I purchased after we bought this house, I don't think I shared this with you. I found it on Marketplace, I really like that, and that's probably not gonna stay there. And you remember the inspiration painting if you watched a, a previous estate sale video I shared. Love all those colors. And then this we found yesterday for the military kind of patriotic Americana room I want to do in our little den room later on. And so that's the first piece we've sort of collected for that. I got that at a little antique store while we were looking for furniture. So I have this love seat. It's kind of too deep does not really go with the green gray if you ask me. And so right now I'm trying to balance the wall color, the brick color, like I said, then I'm gonna fix some things on that. So before I put that trim on, like I said, I I'm, I'm, wanna make sure that the paint color is exactly what I want before I put that on and caulk it and so forth. It's much easier to paint uh, before you do that. So I also have this table, I have four chairs. They're not, the most comfortable chairs um, <laughs> we just kind of throw pillows on them for now because I really would need to have custom cushions made because of the way the bottom is shaped so I love the style of these chairs but again not super super comfortable without some type of chair pad and again I'm not gonna have custom cushions made until I know all the pieces that are going to go in this room and if we're even 
going to keep this in here. So I do love these. They got a little bit marred up from the move, as most things did. But that's, you'll have that. We went with the pods, which I probably would never do again. Wasn't really happy with that uh, when it was all said and done. So I guess I could fluff that pillow. Anyway, so I'm trying to fit a keeping area, a little comfortable seating area, a small eating area, and then the island. We were trying to do something with that huge butcher block that I purchased, but it just, anything that you do that's custom, and ignore the dust on this we got this on marketplace and i haven't done anything with it yet but i got this for 50 dollars, and they sell on amazon for 784 or something like that that's a globe from another light i'm working on but they had sort of cut this and put new hinges on i guess for better support because this top drops down so I do need to do a little bit of um, TLC there, and you can see it was kind of dirty. So I'm going to be scrubbing that up, stripping this top down, and refinishing it. If I decide to do a different island, that's probably going to go in our laundry room for a nice little folding table and storage underneath. So I have a lot of different elements here, and they're not working together. <laughs> so... That's why I haven't really done a reveal video. I still have a lot to do. I'm still searching for exterior lock sets that match the ones that I'm adding to the rest of the doors. And these light fixtures I got months ago. I got five light fixtures. Of course, they're dated to most people, but I got five light fixtures for $50. And these are the medium size ones. Then I got a huge chandelier, which is too big for our space. So I'm going to repurpose that and I took the large bowl off of the bottom there. It had like, a, sorry for shaking for a second. It had like a big bowl that hung down and another rod in the middle and more lights there. And so those five were actually plenty. And so to make it where we could walk underneath without hitting our heads, I took all of that out and we fixed the wiring and put that up and then I added a grapevine wreath and I'm going to add some more things and then florals and of course for Christmas we can add some greenery and or bulbs or whatever. I just thought it would be something else for me to decorate and it, it made the size much smaller so that we could walk underneath and for the price for now it's going to be fine. So that's what I got going on here you guys. I am searching for the right pieces and then I'll adjust the wall color if needed and just the size of all of this it's a lot to consider everything that we're trying to do here I'm not showing you those cabinets that part of the kitchen is my least favorite we'll get, we'll get to that in the reveal it's a little bit of a mess right now so this room right now is a total work zone that's a piece of furniture I redid I'm not totally done but I redid that for uh, our TV that's going to go in this room. Got all my paint supplies and ladders and all that over there. That dresser I am working on to redo. That knob's not going to go in there. It's kind of a mustardy yellow and I love that color for French country design. I may end up putting that in a bedroom or something. I'm not sure. I was going to use it as part of an island. That's not happening at the moment. I'm not sure. That table I listed for sale. I have this butcher block here that was supposed to go for an island and then I just purchased this board to use as a shelf in the kitchen between some of the cabinetry over the sink. So I just have stuff everywhere you guys. Oh, I've got to show you these tables. Now look, this video is not all perfect and everything's glorious and I don't have special lighting and making my house look perfect with little sparkles. This is just how things look. So I'm trying to be real. This is how things are, and I wanted to give you an update because I know you guys get frustrated when I don't update, so this is what's going on. So um, this is my 
front porch, and if I pan, you can see the little hummingbird activity going on out there. We really enjoy watching them. So these tables, this was a dining room table, and it was at, it, obviously they cut a dining room table in half to push up against the wall, which I have done myself. I love doing that, it's a great look. You can use it for end tables or nightstands or whatever. So, so these tables were at one of my favorite thrift stores that I love to stop by and see what they have. So I was like, what are you guys doing with these? Because they were there for a while and I thought they would be more expensive. He goes, are you, will you take them today? Can you use them? And I said, yeah, I can use them. And he said, if you'll take them today, I'll sell them to you for five bucks a piece. Five dollars a piece. I was so excited. I was like, I'll take them and I'll take them right now. So they're, they're not super heavy. I have plans for these tables. The carving's really pretty. And if I don't use them for tables, trust me, I have two other really fun ideas that um, was what I had originally thought of when I saw them to use them for, but they, they would be great pushed up against the wall. So I got uh, two of those to use. And then this piece, the color, this is not coming across well on film. I need to redo the top, but I had painted this and it looks so good in person. It, it's really not coming across. Um, let's see. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I really like how this finish turned out really old world. So I'll be finishing that up and sharing that with you as well. So I've been working on that. This piece we had purchased at our last house and it's a really good combination of everything I like. Ignore the air compressor and the blue tape. That's something I got to touch up on the floor. Anyway, I love these terracotta looking planters. Love all the aged patina on them. I'm probably not gonna put this on the front porch. The front porch is covered, but if you look at this part of the metal, now this was out in storage, so it needs to be cleaned and touched up with the paint, but that twisted metal is what is on those light fixtures that I found and put up in the kitchen. So trying to coordinate different things. I love anything mixed with metal. I love wood with metal. So trying to combine all of those things. So that's what's kind of going on in the kitchen. That's why I have not done this budget makeover reveal. It has been a real challenge trying to find the pieces that I want and not go into a full remodel and buy brand new furniture. For thousands and thousands of dollars and a lot of times there there's a wait time so if you order a piece of furniture if you can't buy it off the showroom floor if you want a new piece of furniture you're going to have to wait several weeks or months to get that piece of furniture so i'm trying to find things that are readily available on marketplace used budget friendly and again you know having cats well the our one male cat he is a little terror on all of our furniture so it needs to be really, really durable. And I love all of the homes that you see on Instagram and Pinterest and on other YouTubers, homes that are an off-white, that will not work in our house. It wouldn't work for us. And definitely with our, our cats, white would just, it would not be good. They would look dirty like right after we got them. So I'm just not even gonna bother. So that's kind of what's been going on. I'm still trying to determine what I'm doing with the kitchen island and seating area. I may end up eliminating the dining room table in here altogether if I can find the right island where we can actually sit and eat and then keep this as a sitting area. So I'm trying to, to figure all of that out. I do love that layered sort of lived in piece together French kitchen. I just, I love it. I, there are so many examples on Pinterest and that's what I'm aspiring to. I want it to look very casual yet elegant and lived in and have all kinds of textures and so forth. So I'm trying to balance a bunch of things and I just really can't rush that. I, it 
things take how long they take. So I will share everything with you as soon as I can. So I um, showed you what I have going on now, what I'm kind of working with. And I did want to insert a clip or a photo, whatever I have on, on film, of the fireplace that I painted and how it turned out. I really, really like it. It doesn't necessarily look right in here, but against a plain wall, it looks, I think it looks really good. I'm happy with it. And I think it's fine in a bedroom or, you know, a little den or somewhere like that. It, it's a nice, it turned out well, but it just, it doesn't really look right here. And if I decide to bring it back out here, I'll probably either buy another one or I may repaint that one, but I do like, I do like how it turned out. So I kind of hate to paint over it. So uh, let me show you a clip of that. seen how messy my house is and all of the projects that I'm working on and all of the decisions that I'm trying to make and make work for our home and how we live, I thought that I would share the things that I've been purchasing along the, the past several weeks. I picked up some, a couple of things from Big Lots and they had like a spring sale at the time. I think then it was 25% off. So I picked up a couple of things from there and thrift stores and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday I actually went there looking for some of the patriotic decor that I saw someone else share was 90% off. And the one hop, the Hobby Lobby that I went to yesterday, they had nothing left. They didn't have a single item at all. Any of their, they had absolutely nothing of the 4th of July patriotic decor. So I was kind of late to the party on the 90% off items, but I did score a couple 75% off items, actually maybe one. I got a couple of floral picks that were half off and I got some things from their spring shop that I was waiting for, I was waiting for these to go on sale and they were 66% off. And when I got there, I didn't see them. I was like, oh no, somebody bought them all. But I just went further down the aisle, it was over on the wall and they had them down on a different shelf. So I was able to get those. So let me show you the things that I found. Please excuse my shirt. You guys, I did not put a whole lot of effort into getting ready and trying to, I mean, I put my makeup on, but I literally did not like put on a nice shirt and fix my hair. It's just, I just wanted to get this video up and sometimes I just don't want to fool with it. I just, you just don't want to fool with it. So yesterday when we were out shopping and found this bronze eagle, this was um, $14 at an antique store. So I got that and at another antique store we popped into, I found this brass bowl. It may be brass plated. It looks like the finish is coming off, but I love patina like that, so it's fine just the way it is. But I think this was... Now I'm trying to remember how much this was. Oh, it was $19.95, something like that. It was, it was right around $20. So I went ahead and picked this up. And of course you're gonna usually pay more at an antique store, although thrift stores are getting up there these days. So anyway, I picked that up. All right, so this next piece I found at the same antique store where I got the Brass Eagle. So it's just this embellishment that you can add to a shelf or you know wherever you wanna put it. And so I thought this would look cute in between the cabinets over my kitchen sink. And so I'll show you that when I get to that project. But I've been looking for some more substantial embellishments like this and architectural pieces that are solid wood. Number one, they're really heavy. Number two, they're usually pretty expensive. So I do have some wood corbels and stuff like that that are really large. But for this, it's better to have something that's really light so you can add it to a shelf without having to have a crazy amount of support there. So I picked this up and it does have a hanger on it. So I, I can just hang it on the wall if I don't want to lean it. So I got that and this was, I think it was $18. I know I already have a huge box of these and I don't need to be buying this stuff, 
but I was planning on doing a remake on some of the pieces so they don't look silver plated. I'm trying to block the, the ring light from glaring. Anyway, it, it's one of those water pitchers and I really like the detail on the handle and I'm probably gonna use this for a floral display and I may or may not be making this over. So these are great to pick up. This was at Goodwill for $4.95 and it's a great vessel for a floral display. So that's why I picked this up. So you may remember in one of my last hauls that I purchased this bucket at a local boutique store, uh, Sweet Simplicity. And so I just love this, love the matte finish, it's so cute, love the wood handle. So love that, love the shape of it. So I got this one and then when I was at Big Lots, I was actually looking for outdoor furniture that might be on the clearance and they didn't have anything. So I just kind of looked around and I found this. So this one does have a glossy finish. I'll probably change that. I actually purchased three. I gave one away and I have another one already on the front porch with some florals in it, some faux florals because I didn't want to put water in it. And it's very big and you could turn it around like this if you don't like the flower sign. I love this color, it's super pretty, but I may or may not be refinishing these. There she is. Oh my gosh, wait do you see what I got here at Hobby Lobby. It's the cutest thing, the cutest thing. Anyways. So I went through a regular ornament, and because it's, it's a really nice size, it's actually bigger than that one, it's, it's a lot bigger than that one. So I went through a regular one, I love the size, I don't really like it, but I don't really like it, it's super shiny, but it was only, let's see. Now on to Hobby Lobby. The first thing I want to show you are these two bush picks. They were $13.99 a piece, so I got two for $13.99 because they were half off. I love these muted colors. I think you can use these pretty much year round. They look fairly real to me. They have a lot of sort of discoloration as far as just like character on the leaves. So they're not all just like bright green. They have different browns and black little specks all over them. And I think that really helps add to the realness of them. So I picked these two up and I will be using the Oh, mercy. So I picked these two up and I will be using these in a floral display for fall. So in their spring section, everything was 66% off. And these napkins were $4.99 a piece. So whatever the math is on that, whatever 66% off of $4.99 is. So I got the last three that they had and my thought was to tuck these into baskets or certain areas sort of add that red and white element for Christmas and for the 4th of July summer for next year. So I went ahead and got the last three of those. Okay, and this is what I got from Maxine. This was $2.99, 60% off. Isn't that the cutest mug? She likes to drink the last little tiny bit of milk if I have cereal. She will sit there and wait until I'm done my cereal, whatever has milk in it, and she will just take a little tiny bit. So I got her this little mug so she can have a treat. It, it's so tiny. Probably looks bigger me holding it like this, but it's, it's very small. So that's for her. The next thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby was on their 75% off aisle. I found one in the regular pottery section that was not on sale exactly like this. There's nothing wrong with this one. So maybe they just hadn't pulled the other one over to the clearance section yet, but this was only $9.99. It was normally $39.99. So I picked this up. This is great for floral arrangements all year long, super neutral. It already has that distressed sort of glazed look, so I don't have to do anything to it. And I love the two handle style, so I got that. The next thing I got from Hobby Lobby in their spring sale section was this wire basket with these cute wood handles on it. They did have different sizes if you want to go and check your local Hobby Lobby and it was $34.99 minus 66%. I don't know, somewhere it was less than $12. I think it was 11 something. So this is really great for 
putting in throw blankets or extra pillows for the sofa. It's a pretty good size. I only got one. I didn't want to go too crazy and I thought I would probably benefit more from getting the larger one. So I picked this up. All right, so the last items, I'm gonna take the camera down off the tripod and show you. I set them over on the couch because they're kind of large and, and hard to hold up, but these are the things that I specifically went there for as far as their spring sale goes. And again, I didn't find anything for the 4th of July clearance stuff. So these, I've had my eye on these when they were 40% off, then they went to 50, then 66. And I went ahead and got them because if I didn't, I figured they won't be there to wait for like the next markdown. So I went ahead and picked these up. So let me show you these. The last items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby were these metal tin containers. Now the small ones were $29.99. Of course, all of these were 66% off. So I got two of the small ones and then I got a medium sized one and then the larger one. And I don't, I didn't measure that, but it's fairly large. You can see it on the love seat there. And the largest one was $59.99. So 60, my, it was like 20 bucks, somewhere around there. And then this one was $49.99. So I was so excited. They still had some, I like the distressed black. I like adding a little bit of black throughout my decor. And I've sort of been collecting some things that were black and the great thing is i don't have to paint those they're already done and i i like the finish so if you're interested in those now i will say this it does say right on the tag that these are not for uh for use with water so they look like planner boxes but i'm just going to use them with faux florals or other items so that will work fine for me but just thought I would throw that out in case you wanted to get them. So I finished filming my video and I forgot that these came in the mail today. So these are also from Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and got 10 of these. I think they're normally $6.99. They were half off. And I did pay for shipping, but if I had known after I checked out, I saw a little banner at the top of their website and it said, if you order $50 or more, you get free shipping. So I could have basically purchased a few more hooks and got them for free essentially because I ended up spending like $11 on shipping so anyway just keep that in mind look for those little banners I didn't even see it so I just went ahead and checked out but I got 10 of these to use throughout the house and out on the front porch to hang our um, hummingbird feeders from and so those came today also well thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you can sort of see what I'm working with and I will definitely be putting out more videos soon. I just, I've, I'm sort of in the, a state of design analysis paralysis and I'm trying to factor in a lot of different elements, comfort, durability, budget, size and scale and function for this space and then working on the living room. So that's what's been going on. I, I hope you enjoyed the update and I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and click your notification bell so you won't miss my next upload. Thank you for spending some time with me today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.